Hey, hey guys, how's it going? I haven't seen you all in a while, or you haven't seen me in a while. Uh, I feel like I just ran from one room to another to, to get here, but I don't know. Are we all here? Are people, let me just see something. <clears throat> I did everything so fast. I didn't, I didn't connect restream to, from last, when Daniel and I played the other day to today. So I think I started a wrong stream then I went to restream and changed it. Hey, there we go. Looks like people are showing up. Okay, there we go. I think we're, we're streaming. People are here. I see chat. So there we go. Doesn't tell me who's here, but anyways, I'm seeing some folks. Thanks for joining. And, uh, thanks for spending some time with me today. Probably more time than, uh, than, than you would have preferred. Uh, uh, unlike Daniel, I, uh, the four hour, four hours of any one person, that's a, that's a lot to hang out with. So uh, for those of you who watch the interview and are watching me today, thank you. For those of you who just stepped into uh, this stream, then uh, uh, welcome. And you have a really cool interview to watch when you get a chance. Uh, it's going to be the on demand now, so you can watch it anytime. But yeah, my interview with Dan, I thought went really well. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, Dragoon. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, good good time tonight. So I think I'm just going to dive in. Uh, I've been really wanting to get back to this game. I've, I've loved it. I thought it was funny as can be. And I, I just was, you know, I'm, I'm just flat out a fan and love the narrator and love the voice and the humor. It's all right up my alley. Excuse me. I'm still getting over this cold here. <clears throat> um, and uh, sorry, it's been a couple of weeks, but just work and life and stuff kind of keeps me from doing this. And this is kind of the low priority of conversations with Curtis outside of interviews and uh, streams of Tori and with Daniel and stuff. So Anyway, let's do it. I'm just going to skip straight to the game. I want to say thanks to our donors and thanks for uh, our coffee members and our Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome. And uh, you know we appreciate you. And here we go. Okay. Can everybody see? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um... Looks like the game's video is sounding. An FMV version of Stanley Parable. Good God. Whoever, uh, would it be, uh, would the, would the FMV game be first person and then everybody else is real? Like, so it's just the camera, it's us. That could be kind of fun. Um, anyway, I don't remember exactly where we were. I just know that every time we go anywhere we we make the narrator mad and uh and then we end up back where we started so uh i have a feeling that we're gonna go right back to where we started so let's go back again wait, wait, let's go back 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 load game i think this is where we are uh yeah here we go Um, all right. Somebody tell me that the stream is working and you guys are all there before I dive into this thing. <clears throat> Some reason. Oh, wow. The game has started. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So I guess I have to hit A. Oh, so I am. Oh, wow. I'm. I forgot about this. I didn't realize I was actually. That's pretty cool. Right, how do I get out of here? I'm already tripping out at this game. I didn't know. I, I lost all perspective. Did I end the last stream in this? Right at this place? I think this is my only way out. 
Stanley. Get back. <laughs> There's nothing good that can come from this. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so great. Nothing good that can come from this. What is it? Did we do this before? I think this feels new. But everything feels new to me when I go a couple weeks. No. No, no. What are you doing? I should, do you I should... just not believe me? What can I say to convince you? <laughs> I'm going to go up there and jump off again. Oh, that's hilarious. I, I need to probably look. When I haven't played a game in a while, I think if I had, if I was better at this, I would watch the earlier stream and kind of prep myself for what I did so that I'm a little more prepared and ready for you guys today. But I didn't do that, and so you get to watch me try to remember. <laughs> what do I do? I don't... Oh, no. I didn't mean to jump. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? <laughs> oh, what, am I up? I'm awake? I thought I was dead. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay, the other room. <laughs> oh, this is funny. I should, it would be funny if it sounded like he was walking with a limp. Just a little bit. Come on. Let's go. What's going on? Yes. Perhaps you can. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. I know you'll see. You'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, can't you? What? I'm not supposed to be here, so he's... He wants me just to stand here for eternity. But that's the only place out. Okay. Is there any other... So I'm standing at that doorway. There is no other way out. So I have to go back down the doorway, right? That's all I can do. No, perhaps not. So there's nothing here, but they're not going to let me just keep doing this over and over again. I have to go back up, right? He's going to tell me something. Oh my God. Yeah. Is this really how much you dislike my game? <laughs> You'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You are literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Yes, you are. <clears throat> Maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. Oh, I did. Yeah, he's going to... looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. He's going to zoom me well, somewhere this else. one is yours. Uh-oh. What did I get myself into? Oh! Can I go in there? No. This isn't the kind of game that you can open doors and stuff. I don't know. This else... I don't, I don't remember what to do. I don't know. I think this is what I just have to keep doing. Is it over? It's going <laughs> ah. to restart, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> that was a good one. I don't know what it's all leading up to, though. You know what I mean? Like, I, uh, Are we going to have some sort of you know, unusual suspects like surprise ending where it all ties together? Uh, you know... I love how it's different every time, and I love that you can explore all of the choices you didn't make, and I love the narrator. So if it's just this, it's freaking great. But if it somehow ties together narratively, like that whole, why are we on this loop? Like if we ever find out why we're doing this, that would be be interesting. All right, what's next? Here we all go. All co-workers were gone. <laughs> What could it mean? Oh my gosh. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Let's go to that broom closet again. I forgot where the broom closet was. It's like right here, right? No. I think the broom closet's when on the Stanley left. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I forgot where the 
broom closet is. It's like right around here. Yet there was not a single person here either. Tips for not Feeling getting fired. a wave of disbelief, Stanley yeah. decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Um, to sit, yeah. Can I go in here again? Uh, was it open before? How did I do it? Was there like the... Oh, I can open it. Okay, sweet. <laughs> Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. Okay, so what I remember someone saying is that last time I did this, after he gets super mad no at me, to make, no path to follow, just an and annoyed, no uh, reason to still be here. when I finally leave, I need to go right back in, because apparently some, he'll say something funny. So that's what I'm going to try to do right it now. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't <clears> even doing anything. At least, if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> sweet F.A. F.A. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely <laughs> no significance to the story whatsoever. <laughs> I think this I is... I would have thought to mention it. You know what I think is happening here? I mean, you know, I, I think you guys will know better than I do. But... It sounds like he's making a real comment on gamers, right? Because in adventure games, and I do this, uh, you go into some room that doesn't have anything in it. And yet there are gamers who will just explore every single thing, even though there's nothing to be done in there. You just kind of get lost in that, that place. And, uh, um, And I think that this game is making fun of that moment of like, you know, just being, I'm telling you, there's nothing in here. And yet we continue to look around. All right, guys, I'm going to have to check my texts a couple times because we got some construction stuff going around here. And okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to push it all back. So I'm good. Everything's fine. What's up, Velvet Tea, tea, tea Cake? <clears throat> okay, I'm back. Now I'm looking at some... Uh, some. Hey, everybody. I'm seeing a lot of people show up. Um, what can I tell the original? Yeah, this is not the Ultra Deluxe. We're just doing the original. My, my feeling was... Uh, I was worried that the deluxe would be an expanded version of the original. And I really wanted to see what that original um, game was by itself um, and how that caught. It's like watching part one of whatever movie. Uh, I wanted to see it the one it was originally released. And then if I like it, which I love, then um, maybe do the ultra deluxe one. But we should talk. We'll talk about that later. All right, here we go. Maybe to you, this is somehow its own branching path. My question Maybe to you guys. when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet <laughs> ending was my favorite. <laughs> People do talk about this part. That's what they're very astute, these guys. <coughs> so, my Stanley question. He was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. <laughs> he probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Gotta wait for it. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. <laughs> you got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. 
when in a situation like this. Yeah, so Ozzy says uh, Ultra Deluxe is the same game plus more to do. But I guess my question is, for those of you who have played both, does the Deluxe make the original? Does it expand and make it better? Or is it just a little too much of the the same thing? You know, does it does it like lean on its own thing too much so that it ultimately takes it, you know, beyond what people would, you know, do you want three more hours of this or was the original better? That's my question to you guys. This, the responsible <clears throat> thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello, anyone who happens to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological right, vulnerabilities. But now it's go back. of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. This is so, so good. The irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. I did. I stepped out of the ah, hallway. Second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Second player? Why am I second player? Do I go back in? You too? Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. All right, this is super fun, but we should play some more of the game. All right, that was really good. Nice, nicely done. Nice. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked I'm down here in a while. <clears throat> Are we going to run in circles again for the next hour? Some got to be something new. Yep. Nothing back here. I just feel like there's going to be something new back here. <clears throat> But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All I feel like we've done this part already. Everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Yeah, they are. Why simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. We've heard this oh, part already. What a relief right? Stanley felt to have finally found an answer. I don't want to come down here again. I feel like there's not a lot of new stuff down here. Gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. Oh, I'll have to go getting... back to my boring real life job. Do I have to just wait for him to finish I his... I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. Or do I have to keep so doing this? he imagined himself flying and began to gently okay. float above the ground. Now I'm floating, okay. <laughs> then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head yeah. dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice... Okay, okay. We've heard this before, right? This, this happened last time. Or am I having like deja vu? But I feel like to me we've had this same occurrence without much variation from a different, the last stream. I'm curious about that.
Okay, yeah, so it was. Um, this is the only thing that happens downstairs. All good. I'm here for the madness. Okay, so we don't. So let's get out of this. I think this is a loop that I'm stuck on until he finishes talking. But it sounds like if we were to come back down here again, we'd have the same experience. So we can sort of check this off of our locations to visit, if, unless I'm mistaking something. This was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it's it good was writing. very odd, and wondered if it's really this good writing. spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving I'd himself? love to talk to the Believe writer. If he's asleep, he doesn't have to take um, responsibility for himself. The Stanley person responsible for writing this, right uh, now, this dialogue. As he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he uh, for certain... I want out of here. Come this on. was, in fact, a dream. Please. Did the voice not see him flow to make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice there, explain all that? This voice was a out. part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. <sighs> that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently. Oh, thank God. Thank God. And he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket <clears> on his skin. <throat> The press of the mattress on his back. They should be able to let you skip Fresh through a scene you've seen before. This one. Rather than make us let have to. Wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. We're going to be back where we just started. That's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife Clarence and my like job. take me back Clarence all I want is my life exactly the way it's always been my Name life that is reference. normal I am normal Everything I can restart the game to skip this I am okay. oh really wait a minute all right well wait I can skip the game let tell me wait restart to skip I am very nervous about so if I go back, all right, I, I, sorry, I wish someone could just tell me right this second. I don't want to, I do not want to lose this game, but I don't know how to restart. I can, it says resume this game, begin the game again. I don't want to begin the game again. Uh, Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me begin up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. Really? I'm real. Please, just someone tell me I... Okay. <laughs> Here, I'm going to go begin the game again. But isn't that going to take me to the beginning of the game? I'm going to wait for an answer. All right. All right. I'm beginning the game again. You guys are going to kill me. I'm going to be really mad. Oh! I think I know what you're talking about. Well, yeah, because you're always starting. So where would I have ended up anyway? <laughs> okay. And it, A soft wind blew outside and perhaps rain started. I get it. Sorry. And if it did, it stopped shortly after. Stanley hoped that the game remembers that I have all the times I've been through this. All right. God, this game is like a acid trip. <clears throat> It is really, it's Dante's Inferno, right? It's its just, uh, it's hell because the Stanley more you do it, the less two open doors. you start to he just get exhausted. His left. Like, okay, I've done them all. What do I want to do now? Um, I went left uh, last time, so let's go right this time. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. The timing of... Wait, I forgot. This one's... Stanley was so take bad that following over directions. There. We haven't done that in a while. It wasn't five years ago. Uh, oh, I can't go back. Well, I guess we're stuck. There's no going back. So let's do that. I was just going to check out my options, but now I only have one option. 
But I have two options here. I can go up to the top or I can jump down and go over there. I've only ever gone to the top once before, so I think... <clears throat> Okay. I missed what the narrator said. What did I miss? <clears throat> yeah, I can go up, and in, which I've only done once before, or I can jump down. I can kill myself. Don't want to do that. But uh, I guess I'll go up. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> Sorry about my throat, guys. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Me. Someone you've forgotten about. Myself. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Who's her? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. Her? Who's her? She's been waiting. My wife? Are we going back to the apartment? That's her, Stanley. <laughs> you need to be the one to do this. We didn't do this last time. This is new. If you can truly place I your did it, face did we? in another, then pick up the phone. This is great. Okay. How do I pick it up? Nice to sit, eh? Oh, Stanley, is that you? Oh, Hold it's... on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about... Your day. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> totally oh, got me. Come on. <clears throat> Did you actually think you had a loving wife? <laughs> oh, that's so great. This is creepy. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going <clears throat> on here. Oh, this game is so good. This game is so good. I can't go in there. What, what I'm going to do is This gonna... is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Good morning, employee 427. Press LT on your keypad. Now, we've done this before, but is it going to be different than the first time? And is that how I got there? Yeah, I did this part before. Okay. Oh, unplug the phone. Okay, don't answer. All right, I'm going back. I'm going to begin again. I never knew I could be get, do this. This is so great. I don't want, I want to go back to this part again. Oh, this, this makes the game better. What could it mean? I Stanley decided to go to the meeting. It does mean I have to Perhaps do a lot of traveling to get to where I wanted to go. And then if you start again, you can see like I my goal is to go back to the phone right now. When Stanley came but to a set of two I also know that like well, I could try something else. Left. What the hell? So you maybe when you have this intention of doing this was not the correct way to the meeting. The thing you were going to do perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop How many people get distracted first, along the way? Just to admire it. But now I'm going to stay on task wow. here. Yes, this room. What <laughs> but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nuh-uh. I don't know why this isn't annoying Stanley me. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. All right. Look, Stanley, We've talked about these other games, about, like, the wrong you have to wait for... I'm not your enemy, <clears throat> I realize that characters who walk all the way across the island, but the like Monkey Island the or something. Story has been about nothing but, you but there's some charm to that, time. and there's a little charm to this. I don't have to listen to him quite as much right now because someone you've forgotten about. I can look at Please, other things. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, <clears> I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Okay, now we're going in this here. Stanley, your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside. To let her back into your life. You have to unplug She's the phone. Been waiting. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up. Oh, no, 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 you can't. 
Did you just unplug the phone? <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? I didn't know it was a choice either. These guys told me. I didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> Let me double check. <laughs> No, I would never have done this on my own. Yeah, I never, without you guys, I never would have thought to unplug the phone. So yeah, I'll, I'll keep my eye out for, for more hints. I'm totally open to being directed where to go. Uh, I'm not going to all be, uh, in fact, I think it might be fun to <clears throat> let somebody guide me towards a, a scene that I haven't seen before. <clears throat> I don't feel like there's a there's clearly not a natural way to get from here to there in this game. Um, Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Uh -huh. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you pick run it up around now? in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes oh sense. Goodness. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make we sense, should be able to in skip all through likelihood, this, that think? person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Oh, for gosh sakes, come on. No, I don't want to practice. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Do I get out of Most here? Do I begin again? Begin again? Making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material. How much are we going to put up with this? Does it want us to? Is it expect? Ah, oh, there welcome we go. back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago <laughs> and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. I wish I didn't have to sit through that video, though. Is there, do I have a choice? No, there's no choice. I have to walk in circles. I don't need to walk around in circles. Oh, they want me out of here. Okay, so they're basically saying, you're done with this. You, you've, you've basically done all you need to do in this room. Now... Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Ah, they put... character dying senselessly <laughs> halfway through the story. They put... That story would make no sense That's at all. That's we'll just so need to great. get you home as soon as possible oh. before the narrative I contradiction gets jump. any worse. The narrative contradiction. It seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. 
Well, now what? I want to go back. I can't jump over there. What? So I didn't know you could use the A button to try to open things. So, like, like there's no way to open, open, open doors and stuff. Okay. Or is there? Am I missing all kinds of... Well, doors are opening for me. This is the way the game wants me to go. Okay, the game's saying, back, back you go. This is great, because I kind of kind of know where I'm at, but I also don't, and he's not saying the same thing to me Almost every time. there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. <laughs> game man it's great it really it really suits my um i don't know the my taste i really uh it's like a kindred spirit now remember all you need to do is behave exactly as stanley would that means very uh, responsibly and always putting the story first I'm it's very charlie kaufman right it's very uh the just the the it has a very Char Charlie Kaufman like movie, like feel, like a, the movie Her or something. It just got such a, such a really clean, clear, consistent voice. Wes Anderson, things like that. All right. You'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead, and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> Do I just do what he says this time? He's been so mad at me. I've been so bad. Okay, I'm going to do everything he says. I don't think I've done that yet. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay, we'll go to the office, but we've done that a bunch of times, too. Coming <clears> to <throat> a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. It's a weird way to go into an office. I didn't get that part. From the, Every time I do it, why, why would a boss's office have an entrance through a weird stairwell like that? Uh, they don't want to see that. They want to see nothing but nice things, and so they must have their own entrance. So why are we walking through this way? That's what I want to know. Someone give me answers. Whoops. Oh, I can't get in I'm anymore. a victim too. Huh? A dollar ninety nine. Super chat. Do we get a we get a voice? An orange suitcase with travel stickers. Thank oh, thank you very much. Bionics. Appreciate that only person that's uh, contributed today or yesterday for that matter it must be that uh, maybe no one's gotten their their big raises yet um, but thank you very much for that appreciate it have we been to the executive bathroom can we go to the executive bathroom is, is this it oh Won't open? No, I guess not. Okay. Okay. Is there. Go through the door, but back out before going all the way in so that the door is shut in front of you. What now? Here. Here? There's no. Executive bathroom. Sometimes the bathroom can be opened. Okay, well, I'm a little lost. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. 
until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. <laughs> Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. Well, I don't know, okay, sure now. Probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. This is great. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. It can't hear me. <laughs> it wants me to say it, but it's not listening, is it? Is it? Press. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. You didn't want me to do it. All right, I'll do it. Now I'm going to wait because. How many of us did it? How many of you actually did it? All I'm of you. I'm sorry, is there a problem? <laughs> you didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Is it going to know? We can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. This is a ruse. Although I'm, I'm believing it. I would, I would crack under, under uh, okay, pressure. Okay, fine. You're not going to do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing. For How many of you were like screaming the into the Stanley screen, his thinking that that's... He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. <laughs> Is that it? Exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. You know what? Right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. So, I did everything that he asked me to do, right? I followed him verbatim. And it led to trouble. So, we've played this game enough now to know that, that there is nothing he says that is there to help me. I just can't, I can't trust him to say truth or lies. He's just an annoying mosquito voice in our head. And so at this point, we are free to roam about this world and do whatever the hell we want. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. <laughs> Maybe not, because the game won't let you. <laughs> the game's anticipated all of this. Oh, that's so great. Ah, oh, they're so much smarter than I am. That's hilarious. Here I am thinking I have some a sense of free choice. <laughs> oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you... My story, you've destroyed my work. Oh, it's Why? so good. For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? <laughs> How did I go back to that? I can't erase there's, that knowledge. There's no to way to go. Really they have traps for you everywhere. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To <laughs> really destroy now? all of my work? I'm what the hell is this place? What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, my. <laughs> no, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. Oh, my gosh. This is so great. So great. You know, if I were playing this game late at night by myself, you know, in an apartment, here in neighbors. Up. I'm here. I'd be freaked I'm out a little here, bit, I think. Here in this pile of rubbish. I, I would you, be. You. If I wasn't here with you guys, so I'd be a little. Uh, now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. This is totally. It was new. the only thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. What did you think that would be funny? You just had to see. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? 
He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands he knows that I that say to do something. I mean. There's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Oh, my story. There's no way out. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was I, a whole underground facility. You I would have did. destroyed it I and did been go victorious. Through it would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. Where am I going? Okay, good. What's happening? When <laughs> Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my God, there I am. Is everything okay? Oh my gosh, Thank this game. I, I need you to make a choice. <laughs> I need you to walk through the door. <laughs> no way. Can you hear me? No. Is everything all right? Am I really done? Sorry, Is this it? Important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You can't be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. This is so good. I, 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 you have to tell me. Am I? Are we really done? It's only one ending. You can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. Did when you when you guys got to this end, this feels like the end of the game to me. I mean, really, of course, with the credits, it's got a really it's a really great way to kind of end the game. But I guess the way they're doing this. So here's my question. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. Do you know if the game ever tells you you've done it all, or does the game just never? Never end. You just you just play when you play and you get what you get. You can go back and open the blue door and only the blue door. Well, here we are. Man. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So the game is saying, yeah, you just had an ending, but you're going to start again. Does it, is it all, is it forever in the loop of starting again and you have to make the decision? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first just to admire it. The lounge was sublime. A work of art. What, what was conscious? it about this room? that called so deeply and so personally to Stanley. It's but eager to get back to business. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Um, all right, I'm gonna stop for a second. Is it, is there anything else to be mined by going forward? If you wait in the conference room, it will display a thing that shows all the endings you've gotten. Really? Conference room, we can go, oh no, everything's closed. So next time I'll do the conference room again. There's also an option to select the illuminated monitors around the office. The illuminated monitors. You guys are killing me here. So, <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that too. I think next time I play this, you guys, I'll probably get a, <clears throat> I'll get a, a let's, you know, a, a walkthrough on there and we'll just look it up and do it. Um, but I think for the rest of today's stream, it's only been an hour, a little less than an hour. Uh, let's just, I'll rely on you guys to tell me where you'd like me to go next. So, um, okay, so I'll do the monitors later. Don't worry about that. Um, uh, okay, I'll do the, but let's see. Super, um, Oh, thank you, Super Chat, Bionics. I don't know if that showed up, but I saw your, uh, I saw your thing. There's okay. more to you than meets the eye. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. Feeling generous. I'm not sure why you're not getting. Uh, um, usually get like a widget that goes with that. But thank you, thank you very much. Appreciate that. 
All right. Uh, anybody think I should go forward? You can get on the catwalk. There's one more ending that way you haven't been. Beautiful. Thank you, Stephen. Let's do it. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Oh, I don't, the, the, the gate is gone. So I can kill myself again Look, if I Stanley, want to. Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy. Really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Oh, really? The Egan is to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do. Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Well, I don't want to. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. And, uh... Um... Bionics for your generosity. I just want to let you know if you are Wait, new to our Stanley thought to himself. Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? He's just they messing with my stopped. head. Surely um, I was mistaken. So if uh, we have found that Super Chat takes uh, almost fifty percent of um, came to a set of two open doors your, he your donation not the to keep it for themselves the room, so we use this uh, well. site down here coffee.com the employee you get the first, same widgets you get the same uh, attention and thanks from us it all is the same on screen but the good news is they allow you to keep ninety percent of Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first time understood true Velvet happiness. Velvet Tea Cake tipped five dollars. Thanks for Even all the entertaining Saturday. streams. Smile. Hey, thank you so much, Velvet Tea Cake. Appreciate it. Yeah, we've, we've been uh, we've been knocking out some content lately, so that's pretty exciting. It's been fun. It's really fun to do. After it's just um, after talking to Dan today the other day, you know, it was kind of. Um, Inspiring, not not to think that we'd ever, you know, rise to any kind of level like that. Nor do I even want to. But but it's inspiring that you know what they do and that what we're doing is is gaining some momentum. And even if it doesn't gain that much more, it's got enough momentum of people who like to watch this, who join us regularly every day. See these, see we see the same guys all the time. It's awesome, and so uh, so it's kind of it's kind of worth it. Um, not to say I wouldn't like to get bigger, but we'll, uh, we'll do what we can. All right. Uh, begin the game again. Go back. All then right. he came back and lingered for a minute or two. Now it's only half there. Just a kind of, um, tingle. <laughs> There's, uh... But eager to get back to business, oh, so great. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay, so I just need to get on here and not kill myself. That's my goal, right? All right. Stanley was so this bad one's... at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five <clears throat> years ago. Did I... I jumped too late, I think. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the oh, road. God, I don't want to kill here. myself again here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Oh, come so, on. But in his eagerness to prove what do I, uh? that he's in control of the story and no uh. one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. All right. Good job, Stanley. Uh, look where I'm falling? Like, powerful. make sure that the, the camera's down so I can see? Ah, oh, this is frustrating. But it's funny when, you know, because I know where I need to go, I, 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 it's, um, it's funny Stanley how you sort came of to a set of just two allow yourself to. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by I'm the on a mission. lounge first. You can jump from the mind. side instead of jumping off. Okay, that's a better idea. Stanley felt lightheaded, butterflies in his stomach, giddy but eager to get back to business. Which is a go fast the first open door on his left. They had a go fast button in uh, Firewatch. All right, let's Stanley go. Was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. All right, here we go. Watch this. We go like that. Go down. Sashay, sashay, sashay. Whoa, Look, don't Stanley, fall. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. 
I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but I'm you. I'm gonna die again, all right? Time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone. What? Yes. Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration <laughs> for others? Are you that? It's still funny, and how perfect they have the timing that the moment. Like he lands, to it's this, gonna I really kick into to really, which means it's a perfect beautiful. way to end, it. Yeah, end do an interruption, you know? Give me a chance. All right, here we go. What do I do in here? What do I do? I'm here now. Uh, aim yourself in another catwalk. Okay, so I'm gonna wander slowly so that y'all can type and tell me where I go next. Are you not shutting the door on me? Really? There we go. There's only one place to go. Can I go in a door? No. Alright, there's only one place to go. No sneaky spots. Yeah. They don't really have like a little things to pick up along the way. So when a door is open, the game's pretty much telling you just <laughs> go to the red now and listen blue. listen carefully, this is important. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> do we do this already? We did this once, right? Okay, so now I do the blue door. So I did the red door last time. Okay, here we go. Please remember, blue door says George Lucas. Got it. So I'm going to go in the blue door. Blue door, no, okay. Um, so the narrator will tell you to go through the red door when you get down here. Go through the blue door instead three times in a row. Okay, okay. Um, gotcha. <clears throat> Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Yeah. Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> nice. I still don't think we're communicating properly. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. No, no, you don't. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. What you see, we there's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map. Because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. <laughs> Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. Good and stuff. in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to me see? Out. Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Can I kill myself? I take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third <laughs> option. <laughs> this already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Oh my gosh, let's do it, right? We gotta do that. Or should I not do it? To make him mad. Do it? Don't do it. I should have a quick little poll monitor here. We gotta do it. At some point. Blue door on your right when there are numerous arrows pointing to the red door. Alright. Anybody telling me what to do here? I'm going to the red door. Eh. Uh, what if I don't? What's he going to say? I'm going down here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Do I want to make him mad? And say two. Oh well, now this is useful. You didn't like it, but you didn't totally hate it either. <laughs> you enjoyed it, perhaps is the correct term. It didn't cause you excruciating pain. Big steps we've made here today, Stanley. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look.
Oh, if I make them mad, I could have voted one. Uh, go through the door on the right. All right, everyone wants me to do it now. <laughs> used to say a really a fucking one which they had to make him re-record oh that's funny that would have been so great all right let's go through this door although i really like making him mad let's do it <laughs> there's nothing in here now would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors again honest answers please Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. This game, yeah. In this game, the baby crawls left towards <laughs> danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make oh sure it's God. effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. <laughs> oh my God. I don't want to kill the baby. You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I remember I'm Hank Green it's playing over. this for hours, Thank playing for play. that Your moment, was extremely valuable. keeping the baby from going into fire. So awful. Why don't we play someone else's game just to ease the pain? Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, this seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Oh my. <laughs> Is this any better? At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. Oh, that's but so... is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will I only get out to anywhere. fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> this will go here, no, here. Can and I then... do anything? Can I do anything? Oh my gosh. Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of this course. This is a and just great finish it all off. hell that I'm yes, in. Yes, it's complete. I made this Stanley. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. I don't know why you would need a uh, deluxe you know, version. This outside. game's gonna just go Even on and on and on. Experience, please step inside and make yourself comfortable. <laughs> oh my god, really? How do I get in? Coming through, coming through. There we go. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? <laughs> it could only be better if. Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Oh my god, what is what am I where? Where do I go now? Huh? Oh my god, they they've really done this. Can't go up, but I can only go down. So I'm going <laughs> it's like the same thing. I'm in Oh, they're gonna put me back in their world. Oh my. It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? What am I doing? No, I don't have a light. I don't have... I don't know. Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. <sighs> that was great. I mean, that was just great. This is so creative. It's so creative on so many levels. Uh, 
Somebody had mentioned in one of the comments that <laughs> yes, I don't seemed, even know what this game is, but I love you know, sort it. of over the top and self indulgent and and uh, yeah, I think it's all that, but it, it's it's done so well. I don't know how you could do this. Be what? Are you kidding me? Who is that? Is that, is that James? The cake is a lie, Paul. Uh, what James happened? Jenkins tipped 100 pieces of eight. Loved your interview with Danny of GG. I really can't wait for GG to bring you on for a Fantas 2 playthrough. Oh, thanks, James. Yeah, I, I thought it went really well. And uh, he seems interested. It looks like it might happen in December. He threw December out as an option. And uh, I know he'd like to make it happen. I just think, as he said, there's like, so many factors, uh, fan contingents on Game Grumps that he has to make sure bringing us in isn't, you know, I guess is the timing has to be right. Um, but I think he wants to do it, and I think it'll eventually happen. So, yeah, I'm excited. Um, that would be fun to play some Fantas 2 with those guys. I think it would certainly get us some. If we were on their channel, I think that would definitely... Uh, Bring some, bring some viewers our way, but it's good to have you on the the stream, James. Are you liking the? Are you liking the uh, the game? Have you played this before? Um, anyways, just to finish my thought, I, I just don't see how this game could be done better. Uh, it's made up everybody's cup of tea, but I think it's just brilliant. I mean, just beyond brilliant. There are some of the endings that maybe go on longer than I would like, but uh, I think that's also part of the part of the joy of the game uh <clears throat> steven writes some people didn't like this when it came out because they thought it was making fun of the idea of trying to tell stories in games or making fun of people who like narrative choice in games yeah i don't know it seems um that seems like a limited point of view um This is the game portal, Paul, in case you didn't know. This is the game. I don't know what that means, but let's go back to it. I'm in the game portal now. You trapped in a glass box with no way out <laughs> listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. You can open the door for me. This is great. Game portal. Now what? Oh, it's a puzzle. <laughs> Critical thinking standard. <laughs> we have to do a puzzle. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. This game is so, so good. <laughs> so if something's on here, it opens, but you have to be a heavy object, otherwise it'll close. So I can take this thing. What do I do? Pick it up. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, Genius. Move it a little bit. Okay, now I can go out. Or can I? Oh, that's so good. This game, man. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games, and I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience, which is why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you here. You can pretend you've beaten the game if it makes it any richer What's for you. What's down there? No, I guess. I was just trying to peek over. I wasn't trying to go down. God. So great. I mean, it's so great. Nothing, 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 nothing. Go through that door. Darkness. We're downstairs. We're below something? No. What 
that? Come on. I don't like the darkness. Come on. Ah. See, this would kind of creep me out if I was playing late at night. Lights off in the house, everybody's sleeping. <laughs> oh no, I'm in the same spot. I've been going left like crazy lately. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go left and if I can. Oh, come on, turn the lights on. It's too dark. Wow. How long do they work at this game? How much money does it cost to, to, to produce a game like this? Very disoriented. Where the hell? That's the floor. I'm totally lost. Let me turn this light out on. There we go. That's a door. All right, through here. Jeez. Okay. He's not talking to me. Very shining like. I don't like this one. Uh, now I have to go back. So that's what happens. I just walk down the hallway and I get to the end of the hallway and I have to turn around. Can I go right? Yes, I can. Oh, this is just... And now I'm back at the two doors. No, I have one. And the doors don't shut. Oh, I'm down through here. Oh my gosh. Can I go back this way? I can. Let me get out of here. Yes, something. It's like a corn maze. I like the light. That's it. That's all I get. Oh, there's something else. There we go. This is great. Let me turn this back on. Well, maybe not because it's still bright. back there's no place to go doesn't feel like this should get me uh huh there's no place to go in here so I have to go back this is the absence of the narrator is really creepy the darkness oh thank God I wonder what he found. What? If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. He Someone needs who will me. wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. This part gets a little tedious. Just this part, the long narr narration when we've come to the end of a... Of a of a track and the narrator kind of droning on about how we've disappointed him 
it's still great but I think that would have been nice to be able to like just if we don't want to hear all the narration to be able to click through it or skip forward or do it in all a way that's workers were gone that's what creative where you can get mad at Stanley us as we're skipping to go to the meeting room Perhaps skipping his Mr. memo his narration you know what I mean that could be fun Uh, I still when Stanley came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. And it's kind of nice when you get back to what now. feels normal. Perhaps he like, wanted to oh, stop okay, by the employee these lounge first, just to admire it. All right, this is sort of the normal. The lounge was grand, we'll majestic. And now, too, but eager to get back to business, to make a Stanley took We've the first everything. open door on his left. So as far as I know, according to you all, we've done everything we can over there. It is a unique piece of art. Yeah. Um, all right, so now we're going to go this way. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Which... Oh. Back on track means he wants me to go to the boss's office, and that always just gets me in trouble, so we got to do this. Which, of course, he really wants me to do. I can't remember what we do down here. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, 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 you weren't paying attention here, there, pal. It's, um, oh, no, no, it's to the right, my mistake. He's going to no, close the door, of no, course. No, no, not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh, dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Sound effects. Oh, we've been here before. This is an end. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. Mm, that's From it, huh? the top. That's all we get for that one. So, I feel... All so, of his co-workers were gone. Unless the what game... What mean? Stan had decided to throw to something the new my way. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So, what I didn't do... Oh, the doors are shut now. <laughs> when Stan... Wait, wait, what? No, I, no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... A... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. Well, I know for sure seat. that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Ooh. And those guys. Are, wow, we got all kinds of new stuff. Just opened up a whole new portal. Many portals. Let's go this way. I think I'm just going to go around in a circle, though. Nothing. Oh, I got too many choices. I don't like these too many choices. Oh, I'm just going to get into it. I'm going to stay to the right. Go to the right as much as I can. Go to the right. Oh, gonna, it's going to be a big circle. Whatever I do, it's going to be a big circle, right? I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? 
Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever prove oh guys just like no over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Oh my gosh. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley oh decided gosh, to go to the meeting crazy. room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, yep, it's worse. <laughs> I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't this we is all the confusion the ending. Direction? Which one isn't the confusion anything? ending? Okay, here we go, guys. I feel like I'm being played here. Back to my office. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. We haven't done this before, have we? Have we done this? This looks somewhat familiar now. Or is it? Now this, well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, no way out and now. this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. Me too. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. Dang. Yeah, that did come back to me. We did that in the first team stream. Um, this is the one where you get a, a line gets painted on the ground to guide you to make sure you don't get lost again. Okay, so I do remember this. So that's one loop that we are revisiting. Um, what? Any suggestions? Um, do I follow his advice? All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get Does lost, I have to. I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Now, sometimes... The line. How simple is that? So, when you guys play this for a while, like we're doing, one of my instincts is like, okay, I've seen the line thing before. Um, I can follow it and maybe make a different choice and get some different response. Or I can begin the game again, right? And is it just... When I begin the game again, does it kind of, um, is it a random generator? Uh, I don't think you can get a different ending with the adventure line one. So, yeah, does that mean I can just start the game again and get away from the adventure line one so that we can play another one? I think that's what I'm going to do if you guys tell me I can. I think I might do it anyway because I think we did this. It's fun, and then the lines get all squiggly. Begin the game again. It's a sort of re reset with... Yeah, let's do it. Oh, but I just did it. There we go. Oh, here. Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself. That's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. It's nice to be able to, that's the nice thing, to be able to skip out of something. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. And here it was, the lounge. The lounge. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, 
and got back on track. And this means I have to go through here. Oh, you guys said I could look at my Yet game there progress. Not a single person here either. Where? Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. All right, somebody tell me where I find my game. Back to the broom closet. <laughs> I could do that for sure. But wasn't there, didn't somebody say that I can look at the games, how many things I've done so far here? Is there something I have to activate? Well, I don't see anything and no one's telling me. So I guess I will go back to the broom closet. Wait, is the broom closet here? Yeah, there is. What right that? <clears throat> oh no! Oh no! 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 Not again! I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please <clears throat> take your time. All right, dudes. Let's see, it's one forty, two forty. It's almost three. Yeah, I think I'll do another 15, 20 minutes of this, if y'all don't mind. Uh, nothing new in the broom closet other than his remark. Okay, but it'll board it up the next time. Okay. All right. Oh boy, we want. Don't want to go downstairs. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Now we're gonna do that. You said there was a. Huh. It does say executive bathroom, but it doesn't let me open it. Jerk. Gotta go. Rup. Rup. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 28 four five but of course Stanley couldn't possibly have known this yet incredibly by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad Stanley happened to input the correct code random buttons by are... sheer luck amazing he Look, stepped if I walked the in there open but I have died away. if I walked if I got there before it when I have fallen down some abyss been here before. Dang, this game. It is a descending deeper into the building. Mind bending felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion game in his chest, sure. as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Escape tunnel. Uh, we haven't done the countdown ending yet. All right, Zen, thanks for joining for both today. Stanley both walked us. straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The 
lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Sure. Cameras. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. Yeah. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. We did this already. But is there something else I should be doing? We did this once. Okay, so I'm not going to be stuck in here. All right. Great sound. I love that system power. So and when at off. last he found the source of the room's power. He knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. He wants me to turn it. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? Mm -hmm. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Hmm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments oh each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. 
Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. I don't have enough time. Sure I don't know if I want come to. Up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Oh, I don't want time on the clock. I want to see what happens. Additional seconds, Stan. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, <laughs> screen to screen, <laughs> clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these Oh, that's buttons. great. Or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Oh, that's fun. Why would you say that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One sold? Fail safe. Have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> well, let me do it. You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're really still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. Cutscene. You oh, I'm going slower. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. 39 seconds. You Come on, man. Let's control do it. this world. That's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. A big boom. No ending here. Just you being loaded. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count, or don't. It's all the same to me, all a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever after. My console is still shaking. And there we go. That was a good one. <clears throat> That's exhausting, this game. It takes up a lot of mental space, you know? Um, yeah, okay, I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna do one more, and then that'll be it for today. So where Wait, have we... Stanley thought to himself. Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? Hold on. How is that possible? Jeez. They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. Okay. Okay. Where should we go? Um... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I don't think you can stop the countdown, but I always wish you could just to shut the narrator up. <laughs> um, yeah, what do you think? Uh, gosh, at this point, I feel like I have done, I know I haven't done all of them, but um, let's either go up through the boss's place again. What, what's new? What have I missed? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Um, I wonder if I go down that that one place where it says it escape okay. here, and then I... He's not going to talk about how great this room is, huh? But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And we've done everything here, right? There's no, I don't think there's any reason to go here. 
So, oh, this is and so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. So, back up. Is there any reason to go back down here? Um. Yeah, my chat. You're right. You might be right. I think I'm here. I'm gonna look on line. Laser to the museum, right? Oh, I don't need to do. Um, come on. Oh, I can't. Oh, it says it control. Oh, shoot. I can't remember how to get out of. Uh, Hold on. Yep. Hang tight. Get the chat right here. I think that's going to be faster. All right, now I think I'll start the game again. We are bring you back. Uh oh. This first, and then this. And I'm gonna do. Oh golly, sorry guys. I'm just trying to get. There we go. Okay. Let's get back to this. Okay. There we go. Escape tunnel is the museum ending. So I think I have to go straight again, right? Actually, you read that really quickly. Never mind. About the window. Okay. Um, I think I got to go this way. Yet there was not a single person here either. Begin the game. Feeling Climb the desk on the left and out the Stanley window. Stanley decided to go up. What? I'll totally do that. Begin the game. To Climb his boss's desk. office, hoping he might. F what? It's a new spot. All of his co-workers were gone. <laughs> what could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. This isn't the way we normally do it. This is not right. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right. I'm getting... Last one here. I am. Yet there was not a single person here either. This game Feeling goes from being so delightful. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. This game goes from being incredibly clever and funny and delightful to tedious. And feeling like you are truly in in coming a, to a, a timeless hell. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. He sounds more ominous than normal. Yes, yes, I'm in. Money in the morning, <laughs> money for breakfast. Money crisp. Extreme bathrooms time. Is there a window? Is there a mirror? Nothing. Nothing I could do. You're not going to say anything about me. You're not going to make a noise. All right. All right. 
Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered it's aloud a four, five, five, to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. <laughs> That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. <laughs> That's good. So he relaxed for a few moments okay. with some calming new age music. I don't want new age music. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Oh boy. I got myself to do a longer than normal one. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Is there any place else I can go? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, I have the option to escape. You know what, you guys? I think this is the perfect place to stop. I'm going to stop right here. And next time we play, we'll remember that uh, where we are. And if I've already escaped once. I think I did that the very first choice of the game, and it took me into the museum. So I don't know if, that, if I go down that road again. Is it the exact same scene, or will I get something different for having been there before? But we'll talk about that later. Oh yeah, jump out that window. And I gotta remember to do that too. I'll write that down. Um, this is fun. Really like this game. It's awesome. Thank you guys for joining me. Really, really appreciate it. Um, I'll just do a quick... Oh, let's see. Um, let me get out of here. There we go. Let me just change the scene. And there we go. Uh, yeah, that was fun. Thanks, you guys. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, big day today for their conversations with Curtis. Lots of content. Uh, Daniel and Tori and I will be back tomorrow. God, that's crazy. That's a lot. So thank you for joining. Uh, James, Ozzy Astaroth tipped for $5. Your reactions to the endings in this game are wonderful. <laughs> thank you again for streaming today and for the great interview with Dan. Oh, thank you, Ozzy. Appreciate that. Really do. And uh, and uh, thank, thanks all you guys for, for joining me today and for joining us this week. And we'll see you tomorrow. And then we'll figure out how next week is going to un unroll, unfold. Oh, and I have a a performance on Saturday here in Seattle of Letters Aloud. So any Seattleites, uh, it's a town hall, and it should be a lot of fun. So check it out. Until then, we will see you guys later. All right, have a good one. Bye. Now find the exit. There we go. And end credits. Took the door on his left. <laughs>